In the previous training video, we learned how to create a pivot table by switching the view of one of these three objects here. Well, more specifically, we did it for the sales profits query. There's another way that you can create a pivot table without switching views to the pivot table view. You can create a pivot table on a form. And I want to create one based upon the sale profits query. Why do I want to do that? Well, if I want to create additional pivot tables with different fields and not mess with the pivot table that I already created or set up in the pivot table view for this query, I can create one on the outside of it in a form. So I can have many pivot tables and not just have one in that view here for this query. So to go ahead and create one, then I'm going to go ahead and select the query that I want to base this form upon. Come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Forms group, click on More Forms, and go down to, there it is, Pivot Table. Automatically opens up, sets up the template for me on the form. You can see it's got the form icon, so I know it's a form. And it's based upon the Sale Profits query. The form's named after it, and this I want to go ahead and rename it when I save it. In any case, as you recall in the previous training video, all you have to do is go ahead and click and drag and drop your fields to where it says, okay, drag a column field here. Now, if you don't see your field list, and you can see up here on the Design tab in the Show Hide group, it shows that the field list is being displayed. Well, the reason why I can't see it is because I haven't selected the pivot table, and I can do that by clicking on it, and it pulls it up. Well, it pulled it over to the left-hand side, it may be over here, but I'm glad it's over here because it's out of the way. So I can see everything here. Then all you need to do is when it comes to setting up my pivot table, I just need to figure out what I want to see as the detail. I'd like to see my gross profits. Gross profits based upon what? By customer, by book title, by month, or a combination of all of those. If I want to do a combination, I can do them by rows, columns, or a combination of both of those. So to get started, let me go ahead and click and drag my gross onto the details here. So there's the details. Now the details are grouped by what or filtered by what? Well it's going to be, let's say by customer name again, click and drag. And I can come up here and drop it on the column field here. In the previous training video I did it by um, row field. So you can see that it doesn't matter where you drop it, except if you don't like the layout of it. I prefer the customer name over to the left hand side. In any case, we'll go ahead and select sales date by month. Now the reason why it's doing that, as you recall in the previous training video, is because I do have a sales date field. And it says, okay, if you choose this field, it's specific by transaction date, not grouped by week or by month, which is what they can do here if I choose to select these uh, other two options here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag sales date by month, drop it on the row field, and there we go. So instead of viewing it on the left-hand side, as we saw in the previous training video, the uh, clients, now it's up at the top, which mm, I don't like. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag years and dump it up here. Now we have it by client and then by year in 2008. Expand that. This is interesting. And then we have the quarters for the year. And it just shows for this uh, client here in 2008, it's only quarters two, three, and four that they purchased anything from us. Um, okay then. So let me go ahead and click and drag the customer name and drop it over here. Uh, I just like that. That looks, as far as the layout goes, uh, more aesthetically pleasing to me. In any case, you can go ahead and rearrange it however you'd like. As long as I'm able to see the details in my pivot table here, grouped by the customer name, and also by the date, I'm happy with it. Well, let me make one little change here. Let me go ahead and expand the year. And I would like to click and drag the year up and off. You see that little red X below my pointer? As soon as I see it, if I let go, I can view them by quarters here. In any case, when I'm finished, be sure to save your work. Go ahead and close out of that field list. Come up here, click on the Save button. Again, it's based upon the uh, Sale Profits query, so it says, do you want the form to be named this? No. We'll call it the P table form. Go ahead and click OK. Adds it over to the left-hand side. There it is. And that way, I've got something separate or an additional pivot table, but in a form outside of my Sale Profits query pivot table that uh, we created by switching to the uh, pivot table view within the query. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.